The Volkswagen Golf and Ford Focus rivaling Skoda Octavia may not be the most striking model on sale, but it certainly puts in a good shift for the Czech brand. I mean, it's his biggest selling model worldwide, claiming a massive 41% of its sales. So it's already doing a good job. So Skoda is following the popular regime that many other manufacturers follow of, if it ain't broke, Let's still tweak it a bit. So for 2017, there's some minor changes, there's some fancier headlights, which now resemble the new Kodiak SUV, and there's also a lower reshaped bumper. And you've got to admit, it does look a smidge smarter. But the bigger changes come with its in-car tech and safety. So let's start off by talking about the new stuff first. Well, the Octavia has had a massive revamp with its infotainment system from entry level. There's essentially three different options, ranging from an eight inch touchscreen to a 9.2 inch touchscreen. So you can get the Bolero system, the Amundsen system, or this 9.2 inch Columbus system. And all of these systems aim at offering more smartphone like interfaces. And they really do, especially this Columbus system. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard and all the layout is just simple and android-esque yet it avoids looking bland so massive improvement well done skoda now the updated safety kit in the octavia includes the likes of predictive pedestrian protection for autonomous braking this comes as standard on our lauren and clement model and this sits alongside the likes of adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning apart from that it's a typical skoda interior really which is to say it's smart and well laid out but not particularly adventurous in fact our l and k model does look a bit smarter it's got this chocolate colored dash and the new infotainment system actually really does help in sprucing up skoda's interior so yeah again well done skoda big improvement so the octavia has always been one of the models to beat when it comes to rear passenger space and the new 2017 model is no different. I mean, the proportions are the same, which means you've got tons of leg room and tons of headroom. And there's also still enough space to sit three abreast in the back. Now the boot is even more impressive. As this is the Octavia Estate, you get the standard hatches 590 litre boot, and then some with 610 litres on offer in the estate or up to 1,740 litres if you fold those seats down. But it's not just because it's a big boost it's because it's really accessible and you get a nice square loading surface you get a low loading lip and you get things like underfloor storage and of course because it's a skoda you get some simply clever features like this removable torch thrown in as well Nothing has changed mechanically for the 2017 Octavia Estate, so you can expect it to drive just like it did before, which is to say it drives a lot like a Volkswagen. It's sensible, comfortable, easy to drive around town, and will just happily cruise along on the motorway. So yeah, everything you'd want from a car, really. Well, as long as that doesn't include anything to do with sporty driving. You see, as carefree as the Octavia is to drive, it still doesn't offer anything significant in the way of fun. I mean, the steering's accurate, but it lacks feedback, and especially the estate, it can feel quite bulky on the road. There are multiple driving modes to choose from, though. You've got the likes of Sport and Eco, each tweaking the steering and the throttle input slightly, but these aren't really any great shakes. I mean, the highlight for me personally is how the Sport mode can hold onto the gears a bit longer if you want to rev it out and hoon it on a country road. But that's not where the Octavia's USP lies. It's designed to get you around and have you feeling fresh as a daisy when you arrive. And yeah, it, do, it really does. It does a great job of doing that. And just like a lot of other Skodas, the Octavia's engine range is excellent. There's the likes of a, a one litre turbo, there's a mid-range 1.6 diesel, and there's this 148 brake horsepower, two litre diesel that we've got. And this engine, does a bit of everything really it's got a sprint time of 8.6 seconds and yet you'll likely get around 50 miles per gallon quite comfortably and this automatic dsg gearbox that we've got is really smooth i mean it keeps up with even the most erratic shifts in driving characteristics oh. 
One of the biggest boons of the Octavia Estate, though, is its price, as it starts from under £18,500. Now, that's less than most rival estates, including the Volkswagen Golf Estate, the Ford Focus Estate, and the Honda Civic Tourer. And even if you start climbing up to, say, a mid-range spec, the Octavia remains affordable. And that's just another reason why the Octavia is the kind of car you buy with your head and not necessarily your heart. I mean, I love it. I love how it just gets on with it, but it's that very equilibrium that might just put people off. But if you want to watch a video review of one of the Octavia's rivals, then click the link on top of the screen. If you want to browse prices for a new Octavia, then click the link in the corner. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, then click that subscribe button. I don't think Black does it any favors.